That's good you got it, but I can't get it. Oh, so many people. A lot of them, I have no idea who they are. Let's see you. No, they can't. How do I turn up the speakers? Okay. Have you got it? But they can't see me. No, they can't see me. I'm going to turn this off. Everybody should be muted. You said that when you were on. Okay. All right, we got 45 participants so far here. I think we need to. You got to tilt that towards me because I can't see a bloody thing. Good afternoon, everyone. Can I ask you to please mute your microphones? Set up in here if you want. I hope this is chill. Okay. All right. Yeah, I went for the Caprese. Probably my second favorite so far. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll try and get started here. People are still coming in, but we'll get started in a minute. What did you get? I've lost my, I just see everybody now. You just changed the view of our, yeah, so I'll bring it back up in a second. Okay. Okay, welcome everyone to our Zoom Earth Ring Ceremony. My name is Charles Henderson, and uh, I'm a professor of 32 years now in the department, the former department head, and I will be your senior supervisory earth scientist this afternoon. Right now, I'd just like to remind you about uh, Zoom etiquette. Um, you should keep your microphones on mute, uh, but at one point, when everyone is going to read their name, say their name, we want you to unmute, and then you will say it in unison as you see your name on the screen. Um, if you have any questions or issues during the event, please use the chat function. And in the unlikely event that uh, there's this event is uh, Zoom bombed, uh, we will terminate the event and reschedule it. Hopefully everything will go just fine. Um, and uh, we hope you enjoy this uh, short ceremony. It's now my pleasure to, uh, to introduce uh, Professor Stephen Hubbard, who is our current interim department head, and uh, he's going to uh, welcome everyone, Steve. Yes, thank you, Charles. Uh, welcome, graduates, family, and guests to this uh, 2021 uh, virtual Earth Ring Ceremony. Yeah, my name is uh, Dr. Stephen Hubbard. I am a professor as well in the department and I'm currently serving as interim head. It is a uh, real pleasure for me to be here today to take part in this event. 
an event which really marks an important milestone in the careers of, of, of you all uh, today. In many ways, uh, the obstacles the students in this virtual space have overcome to reach this important milestone are just are unprecedented. And uh, I'd like to take uh, this moment to commend all of you on your perseverance and unfailing dedication to your education during these trying times. The hard work is paying off and I wish you all great success in your future endeavors. We are proud to have mentored and learned with you over the last few years and very much look forward to following your future successes. Now, without uh, further ado, I will hand the virtual stage over to Professor, Professor Rachel Lauer. Hey, thank you, Steve. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the traditional territories of the people of the Treaty 7 region in Southern Alberta, which includes the Blackfoot Confederacy comprising the Sigsiga, Hikani, and Gaina First Nations, as well as the Sutina First Nation and the Stony Nakoda, including the Chiniki, Bearspaw, and Wesley First Nations. The city of Calgary is also home to Métis Nation of Alberta, Region 3. I think, Barb, you have to turn on your, unmute yourself. Okay, turns out uh, we, we tried to have a nice big pipe uh, processional for you, uh, which we've had when we've had the, uh, the ceremony in person, uh, but uh, some technical difficulties. Just card and nonetheless, it's not yeah, oh, yeah, that's a long. Nonetheless, I would, uh, we set, definitely want to welcome you to this earthering ceremony and. Uh, I would like to, uh, you've already heard from Rachel Lauer. Uh, she's an excellent teacher and researcher in our department since her arrival in 2015. And it is my pleasure that uh, she has agreed to be the junior supervisory earth scientist this afternoon to assist me with the ceremony. The earth ring ceremony, a ritual of welcome into the profession of newly qualified geoscientists by senior practicing earth scientists started in Alberta in 1975. It is a yearly tradition for the geoscience graduating classes at Edmonton and Calgary, and it has been spreading to other provinces and jurisdictions across Canada. The first earthering ceremony at the University of Calgary was, in actu was actually in 1979, which makes this the 43rd earthring ceremony in gathering for our department, which over those years, the department's name has changed from the Department of Geology to the Department of Geology and Geophysics to the current Department of Geoscience. Each name change reflects the increasingly broad scope of our programs. The ceremony carries many of the same passages written by Rudyard Kipling for the engineer's iron ring ceremony and symbolizes the same commitment and responsibility that come with wearing the title of a professional. Receiving an earth ring is neither a prerequisite nor a later condition of professional membership with a PEGA. Although there is no obligation to obtain or wear a ring, 
it is significant that almost no one in the graduating class willingly misses this ceremony. In addition, the ceremony is not strictly a graduation event as it has occasionally included already practicing geoscientists in Alberta who express the wish to receive a ring. Like the iron ring of the obligated engineer, the earth ring is a symbol of values that lie at the core of our individual beings and of the trust placed in us by society. The Earth Ring Ceremony is a formal ceremony which celebrates the integrity of the profession of geoscientist. This profession has always had a great impact on society, in particular in the areas of oil and gas production and mining, and with the growing importance of environmental issues will continue to play a major role in society. The ring ceremony supports and enhances our best thoughts and practices in geoscience. The earth ring ceremony carries many of the passages of the, iron, of the engineers iron ring ceremony. And with this, we endorse our close bond with the engineers. We now proceed with the ceremony based on Kipling's ritual. The ceremony in which you are about to take part is a matter of particular interest to earth scientists and those associated with them or interested in them and their work. The ring which you will be wearing is not in any sense an adornment, a bauble or a charm. Like the iron ring of the engineer, its simplicity and strength bears witness of the attitude which professional earth scientists should maintain to uphold the integrity of their obligation. It should be worn always on the little finger of the writing hand that those that know its significance may recognize it both by its form and the manner in which it is worn. The ring is of metal from the earth. It is round as a great circle encompassing this ancient globe and shiny as a bright new idea. It is marked with the crossed hammer of geology and with the seismic trace of geophysics, signifying both the immediate and the remote searching out of nature's knowledge and abundance. Without beginning, without end, the ring represents to those that wear it the continuous and continuing interplay of ideas, of instrumentation, and of material realities. The ceremony is now open. This ingathering at Calgary of the ritual of the calling of an earth scientist is for the purpose of obligating those members of the profession of geoscientists and the graduating class in the areas of geology and geophysics at the University of Calgary, who desire to be obligated. Of the obligation to be taken, I presume that most of you know something. The intent of those behind this movement is that the obligation shall be open to all suitable members of the earth science profession or graduates about to engage in geoscientific work. The obligation is freely given to all such who desire it, but in no way urged upon others. I would therefore ask that if there are any present, any who do not <clears throat> desire of their own free will to subscribe to this obligation or have doubts as to the desirability of doing so, they should withdraw before the ceremony proceeds further. Assuming that we now have with us only those who desire to subscribe to our obligation and only those that are qualified by training to enter the profession, this ingathering of geoscientists adjures the candidates to seek wisdom in the use of this desire and training. I will read from the following verse adapted from Job 28, 1-14. 
Surely there is a mine for silver and a place for gold that they refine. Iron is taken out of the earth and copper is smelted from the ore. We put an end to darkness and search out the farthest limit of the ore in the gloom and deep darkness. We open shafts in a valley away from where people live. As for the earth, out of it comes bread, but underneath it is turned up as by fire. Its stones are the places of sapphires and it has the dust of gold. We put our hands to the flinty rock and overturn mountains by the roots. We cut channels in the rocks and our eyes see every precious thing. We bind up the streams so that they do not trickle and the thing that is hidden we bring forth to light. But where shall wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? We do, do not know where to find it. The deep says it is not in me and the sea says it is not with me. I now ask the graduating class representative, John Bing, to speak with me. Have I leave to speak? Who are you? I am John Bing and speak for those with us of the graduating class of 2021 of the University of Calgary. What brings you to this in gathering? The hope and recognition as future professional earth scientists who are in need of counsel and strength before we go to our work. What is the work? To strive to reveal in some small measure to ourselves, to our profession, and to our fellow members of society, how the world is made, that all may benefit from this knowledge. These are great words, but what do you know of this knowledge? Little, except that we know little of this knowledge we seek. That is also the extent of our knowledge of what we yet seek. It is a sound foundation. Are you of our calling of earth science? We have been so trained and speak much of the language of earth science. Are you acquainted with the value of the earth's treasures that you are trained to seek? To some extent. And with the temptation for possession once these are discovered? We have heard. It is not commensurate with the wearing of this ring that unlawful or unrighteous possession of these treasures pass into your benefit. We will endeavor not to succumb to temptation. It is not part of our custom to bind anyone by vain oaths and the threat of absurd penalties to the performance of their plain duties. But we deem it just, reasonable, and wholesome that those who are called to our work shall, once, openly, and among their betters and equals, profess the obligation that is within and declare upon what level their behavior is expected. This we do because though to many of the world we seem no more than a trade or craft, in our ingatherings we confess and in our hearts we are proud that we are fellows of a calling in earth science. And may you be known when your life is run as a geoscientist, though you may be captain of industry or leader of society and broad responsibility. I now invite the ingathering that is the graduating class desiring to take the obligation to repeat after me the words of the obligation, which you'll see on the screen. I will start and everyone will say their names one at a time when your name is seen on the screen. Then we will read the remainder together, but you will have to remute, you'll have to mute after saying your name and read the remainder to those who are with you now. So please unmute everyone. Okay. 
Everyone can unmute. I still see lots of mutes there. I am. I. Gregory Allen. <laughs> Matthew Andreziak. Charlotte Ansel. Aaron Bissonette. Calista Brown. John Bing. Yuan Chang. Sepur Danishwar. Bradley Earl. Rachel Everest. Aaron Fishley. Brianna Fraser. Emily Freeman. Dana Gerard. Soon Kang. Braden Casper. Gilfried St. Cara. Pat Kokomar. Kevin Jonathan Liptu. Michael McCordoff. Nolan Mitchell. Rebecca Neufeld. Uh, Pema Punkang. Anna Robotka. Nashahira Nush Shahini. Courtney Singer. Jasmine Skirton. Julian Valdo. Nicole Virginello. Lucas Yates. Anna Zacharik. So for the rest of our uh, obligation, you'll, I would like you to read out loud, but with uh, what you, you need to be muted because we can't all read at once on Zoom. But please read the obligation with me to those that are with you right now. In the presence of others in my calling, bind myself upon my honor that to the best of my knowledge and power, I will not henceforward suffer or pass or be privy to the passing of false information or too casual interpretation in aught that concerns my work for others as an earth scientist or in my dealings with my own soul. My time I will not refuse. My thought I will not grudge. My care I will not deny towards the honor, use, stability, and perfection of any work to which I may be called to set my hand. My fair wages for that work I will openly take. My reputation in my calling I will honorably guard. I will in no way go about to compass or wrest judgment or gratification from anyone with whom I may deal. And further, I will early and warily strive my utmost against professional jealousy or the belittling of my fellow workers in any field of their labor. For my assured failures and, and derelictions, I ask pardon beforehand of others in my calling here assembled, hoping that in the hour of my temptations, weakness and weariness, the memory of this my obligation and of the company before whom it was entered into may return to me to aid, comfort and restrain. To all these things you have subscribed upon your honor. And you should all say to at home. And upon our honor, these things we purpose to abide. You, the candidates, have bound yourselves to no light task. Our goodwill is with you, but be well assured that upon yourself and yourself only lies the fulfillment of all or any part of it. As in the rocks of the earth are laid up, laid up, could we but arrive at them 
all mystery and power of matter throughout the universe. So too, in your soul, whose workings are secret alike from yourself as from us, are laid up all mysteries and attributes of the spirit. Between these, our life is set, alternately attracted towards either sharing the agonies of both until such time as the existence of that bridge may be revealed to us, which shall unite the two. We intrude on no one's soul. But we tell you here at your outgoing that you will encounter no difficulty, doubt, danger, defeat, humiliation, or triumph in your career, which has not already fallen to the lot of many of your colleagues in our calling. Therefore, we bid you neither to abandon nor advance too soon. After due trial and test of your own resources within and outside yourself, seek freely and confidently what aid, comfort, and advice from your equals and your betters you may at that moment stand in need of. For doubt not, it will be freely given as you in your turn and time must freely give to those who seek from you like aid. For the rest, we surrender to you what lies under the earth and tools to interpret or misinterpret. Sooner or later, you will drill the holes that bring no return misinterpret the signal from the depths, lose the vein within which lie extra riches and reputation. This will equally baffle and bewilder to your professional and your personal education. We make you welcome to the joy and fellowship, the accident and the incident, the strife and satisfaction, the effort and reward of our calling followed in honor and perfected in integrity. You are now, as will be those who now, and at another place and time, stand before their equals at such an ingathering, a newly obligated geoscientist. Your rings are a token and a symbol of our values, for we now take you to be committed to our calling, to your calling. It is now my privilege to again call upon uh, your representative, John Bing, to address, to address the end gathering. And maybe uh, everyone could um, put their video on, keep, your, keep a, a mute, and maybe we can see some of you as uh, John uh, addresses this end gathering. Thank you, Dr. Henderson. And thank you fellow graduates of 2021 for nominating me to be your geoscience spokesperson. As Charles said, my name is John and you've made a terrible mistake. No, I'm just kidding. But if you attended the, the OPEGA ethics workshop earlier, I have to say that I am far less qualified a speaker than Dr. Pandya was. Anyways, I was gonna use the speech that I gave as a high school valedictorian, but it turns out I couldn't find a three and a half inch floppy disk drive to open it. And given the median age of our graduating class, you may have to Google exactly what that is. But first off, congratulations. We've all been on quite a journey. Do you remember how you felt on, on that first day of university? Whether it was excitement or nervousness. Remember those friends that you made in Geology 201 and over the last four or five years? Chances are you still have one of those friends here with us today in the ceremony. Do you remember that first semester of five courses with five labs and five tutorials? You weren't sure you were gonna make it through, but you did. That was the semester that I got 25% on a calculus two midterm. We've had breakdowns and struggles, but we've had victories as well. We've pushed on and took calculus in the spring and, and got an A minus. And the focus of your degree may have changed as you've gone through your years here. But in these short few weeks, we will all reach the final goalpost of obtaining a Bachelor of Science degree. 
Now, I don't know about you, but when I picture a geoscientist, I picture someone like Leonardo da Vinci. And I'm not saying that we're all geniuses, although I, I know some of you that are here are geniuses. But think about your training over these years. You've gained an understanding of algebra and calculus that to many people seems like black arts. You've learned Newtonian physics, thermodynamics, and electromagnetism. You've studied the chemistry of the natural world and how water interacts with rocks and minerals. You can recognize a rugosa in a limestone outcrop. You understand the theories of how matter coalesced in the planetary disk and how the universe became what we know today. And you understand geologic time, something that is very tough for a lot of people to comprehend. And although we can't paint the Sistine Chapel like da Vinci, we can draw beautiful maps and cross sections that pass even Dr. Duchak's close inspection. And as you move on to the next stage of your life, whether it be in the workforce, continuing on in academia, or just taking a moment to rest, I want you, I want you to keep something else in mind. As Dr. Pandya mentioned earlier today, these speeches usually talk about following your dreams. And I could talk about how you're never too old to pursue your dreams. My daughter starts university next semester, so I, I definitely can play that old card. But I think there's something else that is more important to be focused on in our futures. You are now Earth scientists, but we have a duty to be social scientists as well. As much as you may have to fight to educate those around you about things like climate change, fight even more for equality in your workplace. And just as we've taken an oath today to stand up against unethical geoscience practices, stand up against social injustice, be science educators and be advocates. Keep being the curious and inquisitive explorers you are and be brave, vulnerable, caring citizens. And finally, James Hutton considered to be one of the founding fathers of geology said something about earth processes that I believe can be applied to our actions towards the earth and the people around us. It is the little causes long continued, which are considered as bringing about the greatest changes of the earth. So affect change in your world. And congratulations, geology class of 2021. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much uh, for those uh, fantastic words, John. Uh, um, I think, uh, um, well, that, that was just awesome and very, very appropriate for the time. And like uh, John wishing everyone else in the class, I certainly wish everyone all the best in their future endeavors um, in a just world. Normally, uh, each of you uh, would now cross the stage and receive your ring and certificate. Um, you can see the certificate pictured to the right, um, and you can see one of the uh, one of the rings um, there as well. After crossing the stage, you would have placed your hand on a block of polished ore and signed our registry book. Uh, You'll see those on the next slide, but we can't do that uh, during the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. But each of you are now eligible to wear your ring because you have taken part in this ceremony. This is the block of ore that you would place your hand on as you sign the registry. The ore is from Pine Point Northwest Territories. It is a Mississippi Valley type lead zinc ore and comprises dolomite, quartz, galena, and sphalerite. And I don't need to remind any of you, I'm sure, that the latter mineral is zinc iron sulfide. When in the future uh, we can safely gather uh, again, um, please do feel free to drop by my office and, and sign, the, uh, sign the registry. Um, 
As our ceremony now draws to a close, I would like to thank members of the Rhonda Group of Geoscience Undergraduate Student Society who helped with the organization of this ceremony, in particular special thanks to John Bing and Jasmine Skirton. I would also especially like to thank Barb Gleason for her valuable suggestions and logistical help for running this Zoom session. In fact, she did a lot of work in here uh, putting all of your pictures in there. And it was nice to see the pictures in the, in the, uh, the PowerPoint as well. Um, and uh, I also want to thank uh, Rachel Lauer and Steve Hubbard for being part of today's in gathering. Um, in closing, I would like to say to the graduating class that your decisions as future geoscientist professionals can potentially affect the lives of many. We trust that those decisions will be made in a spirit of integrity, wisdom, and courage. So this concludes our ceremony. I now remind the graduates that you can pick up your rings beginning tomorrow. Uh, Tanny's is open uh, seven days a week, it seems. Uh, we've given you the location here at Northland Village Mall and the time of their opening. So on Sunday tomorrow, it's open from 11 to 5. You will need to show a picture ID if you have ordered your, uh, your ring and it will be available. We will mail your certificates to you at a later date. Um, and so it would be, uh, we would like you to make sure that you have the correct mailing address in your online student center so that we could send you this in the next month or so. So it was a short ceremony. It's usually a lot longer because we have to go across the stage and shake hands and hand out rings and certificates. But uh, we have never had a better speech than we got from John Bing uh, today. Um, I would like to extend uh, my congratulations and wishes of good luck. Good luck on your final exams that are soon to come and best wishes for your future. Now, as we sign off, please accept the congratulations from your friends. Um, hopefully some of those are at home, family and other professionals who may be watching. Um, thanks, thanks for taking part in this special ceremony. Um, Stay well and stay safe. And if Steve or Rachel will want to say anything to add there. Um... I think you've covered it all, Charles. That was a really nice uh, ceremony. Again, yeah, really fantastic job, job, John, but really fantastic job to all of you. Uh, congratulations and, and really best of luck. Congratulations. Okay. So I was short and sweet, but it was nice to see. There's a few faces that, that I know in this group, uh, but not that many. Uh, but I, it would be, uh, it's great to, uh, to have had this ceremony. Um, and uh, when you put your ring on, don't forget, it goes on your, your the little finger on your, uh, on your writing hand and, uh, um, and enjoy being a geoscientist. Thanks for being here today. It was really nice that almost everyone was able to attend. So we're gonna sign off now and wish you a great afternoon.
I guess we could hang on just for a second here. John, was your was your high school graduation really in the era of three and a half inch floppies? <laughs> yeah, it was. 